Hi you guys, it's Lindsay and I am back for part three of our how to sew a commercial sewing pattern video series. Um, as you know, in our first video, we talked about the pattern envelope. In the second video, we talked about the instruction booklet. And today we're actually going to get out some pattern pieces, look at some tissue paper, and I'm going to explain to you a little bit about the information that's there. So let's jump right in. So here's our trusty Butterick 5466, the pattern that we are sewing with for this entire series. When you open up the pattern envelope itself, you're going to find the instruction booklet. Um, and then you're going to find a bunch of pieces of tissue paper all folded up like this. And you are going to open it up, obviously. It's very, very large. Lots of... Um, pieces. I think this one has, yeah, it looks like just two sheets. So you can see on here how the pattern pieces themselves are outlined in blue and they're all numbered. So what I'm going to do to try and make this a little bit more manageable is I'm going to cut out one of the pieces um, so that we can just look at one individual piece. So give me one sec. Um, some information that you can find right smack dab in the middle of the whole pattern piece is the pattern piece number. Remember last week we notated which pattern pieces we were going to need to cut out based on our version of the pattern that we would be making. So this is how you know what that is. Um, this tells you that it's the front kind of reinforcing the pattern number. And this tells you, A, B, and C tells you the version of the skirt that you're working on. So again, all three of these things are kind of checks and balances, um, just so you know you're using the right pattern piece. Um, you'll remember when we were talking about the pattern instruction booklet that um, it notated some information about this little um, icon here kind of like a bullseye, the circuit, the circle with the cross through it. And that notates exactly where the garment will hit your waistline or where it should hit your waistline. And anytime you see the, the bullseye looking thing, you also know that they are going to provide you with some measurements. Now, unlike the measurements that were on the envelope or on the um, pattern instruction booklet, these are finished garment sizes. So this is not including seam allowances, not including darts, not including anything that needed to be taken out. These are the um, garment finished sizes for each of the sizes of the pattern. So you know that if you are, let's say, 29 inches in your waist, um, a size 10 is going to be too small. There's not going to be enough ease in there or really enough fabric at all. Um, even size 12 might be kind of tight, depending on what kind of fabric you're using. So if even if the pattern an envelope told you to make a size 12, you can kind of cross reference with this information here because in each pattern, ease is built in. And sometimes there's more ease, like in a pleated skirt, for example, um, in the hip, there will be inches and inches of ease because it's a more full skirt. But in a pencil skirt like this one, it's gonna be kind of fitted to your body. And mostly always with the waistline, unless it's like a shift dress or something, you're the finished garment measurements are going to be pretty close to what your actual measurements are. So always err on the side of caution. Like I've said before, it's easier to take a garment in than it is to let a garment out, but at least you'll know from this thing, from this um, information here, if you're on the right track or not. And they'll also have them like down here, you'll see there's another one and that's for your hip measurement. So traditionally you'll find them for the bust, for the hip and for the waist, and I've sometimes seen them for the bicep as well. Um, this is what a dart looks like on a sewing pattern. Um, you can see here that basically what you're going to do is transfer these markings to your fabric, and then whenever you're sewing your garment, all of this will be pinched out and folded over. So none of that will be in your finished garment. These little things here are called notches, and notches are critical. To me, they really can make or break your experience with sewing. If you're going to um, transfer that marking to your fabric again, I will um, tell you more about that next week. Notches also look like this, where there's like double peaks and sometimes there's even triple peaks. 
So kind of all the same idea, but um, just one, two, or three, depending on the area of the garment that you're working on. You'll have your sizes here, and each size cut line has a different kind of width of the dash. So that helps you as you go along. You can see kind of up here in the waistline how they all kind of run together. Um, so you just want to try and stay as close to your cut line as possible. You can see that size 10 goes up to this little point here. So you'll want to make sure that you, you cut that exactly. Um, and then it'll also tell you to cut, like how many pieces to cut. Um, this says cut one piece on the fold. Um, again, we'll go into this in a little bit more detail next week, but it also tells you right here on the side that this is the fold line. Oop, that's upside down that this is the fold line, center, front, on fold. So when you go to place this on your fabric, you're going to place this whole line on the fold of your fabric and you're only gonna cut out one because when you cut something on the fold, you cut out one of them and then when you open it up, you have double the size. So that although this doesn't look like this would fit anyone, but like maybe a toddler, when you actually place it on the fold and cut it, you will have something twice as big as this. So this is the back pattern piece for the same skirt, A, B, and C. And this one tells you that you need to cut two of them. And that's because the back of the skirt actually has a seam going up the center of the back. Um, so you'll see here, it'll tell you center back, and that's your seam line. This is 5 8 inches difference because that's the seam allowance in this pattern. But it's just one long cut line instead of the other one, and instead of the front piece that had a fold, there, this one doesn't have that little arrow anywhere. It just has one long cut line. Now it does have this circle, and I know just from experience, this is the marking for where the zipper stops, but you, but you need to kind of point these out in your mind um, or even highlight them or whatever you need to do to remember that they are there so you don't forget to transfer them to your fabric whenever we get that out next. There's also some things that you need to do to your pattern pieces before you lay them all out on your fabric. A lot of people skip doing this, but I think that it's really important for you to press your pattern pieces um, before you cut them. Because you can see that there are some folds and some wrinkles and all of that kind of adds up, you know? And whenever you are sewing, it is to the one eighth of an inch sometimes that something can be off. And um, that, can, that can be made up in these folds here. So it's really important that you get out your iron, put it on a low heat setting with no steam and just press them out. It's very thin tissue. It presses out really easily. Um, um, and it'll make your cutting lines and your, your finished garment that much um, nicer. Here is another pattern piece. Um, this one is for um, version A. It's the back facing piece number four. I'll show you that here. And I wanted to show you this because um, in addition to telling you how much fabric to cut out, like the skirt front and the skirt back did, it also tells you how much interfacing you need to cut out. And so um, for this pattern piece, you would cut out two pieces from your fabric, but you'll also cut out two pieces of your interfacing as well. Also on here is something called a grain line. Um, probably be easier for us to discuss grain line next week when we have some fabric out, but grain line really is the, um, the part of your fabric that runs parallel to the selvage. And so this just tells you that, you know, this pattern piece kind of looks like a little curved box here, and you don't just want to throw it on your fabric and cut it out because the grain line will help you um, find the stretch of the fabric. And especially in a skirt, if you're sitting down or, you know, moving around, you need for it to have some stretch. So um, it would tell you which, which direction to lay the piece so that you get the most out of the stretch that's in the fabric. But like I said, we can probably talk about that some more next week. All right, you guys, that's all the information that I have about the actual pattern pieces themselves. Stay tuned next week where we will actually lay these pieces out on some fabric and cut them out. Um, in the meantime, though, don't forget to enter our big giveaway. McCall's Pattern Company is giving away three patterns. All you have to do is subscribe to our channel, subscribe to their channel, and there was a secret word hidden in this video somewhere. On next week's video, you'll need to have all four secret words and you just place them in the comments and we'll pick one of you guys to be our big winner. So thanks so much for watching. I will see you next week.